have you ever wanted to make a Discord bot just to like make something cool or like show off to your friends? Well, then you found the right video because in this video series, I'm going to teach you how to make a Discord bot from scratch. Okay, first off, we need to create a bot in the Discord developer portal. So we type in Discord developer portal and head over to the first link. Then we click on the application section and click on new application. We're going to name our app dog bot. And then we go to the bot section and click on add bot. Now I have a server here and we're going to invite this bot to the server. So to do that we go to OAuth2 and click on URL generator. Then we click on bot and scroll down and copy this link. Now we just need to open this link in a new tab and select the server that we want the bot to join. So I'm just going to select dogbot test server and click authorize. Now as you can see we have the dogbot in our discord server. Now before we start coding our app, we need to make sure we have everything installed. So you should of course have python and pip installed and if you don't have those installed, there will be links in the description to install them. Now if you already have those installed, you can just type in pip3 install next card in your terminal. Then we're going to create a new file called app.py. Okay, now we're just going to import commands from nextcard. So from nextcard.ext import commands. And we're going to create a variable called bot and set that equal to commands.bot. And inside these parentheses, we're just going to say command prefix equals exclamation mark. This basically means that the prefix for all of our commands for our bot is going to be an exclamation mark. Okay, now we're going to make the first command for our bot. So for example, if a user types an exclamation mark hi, our bot should send a message saying something like hello. So how do we do this with some Python code? Well, it's really simple. First, we need to create a decorator saying bot.command and then name equals hi, which is going to be the name of our command. And then we create an asynchronous function because we want the function to execute asynchronously and we pass in the argument ctx, our context. And then inside the function, we do await ctx.send hello. And if you're wondering what the syntax is, we basically have this to tell Nextcard that whenever we type in this command, exclamation mark hi, this function is going to get executed. Okay, so now once our bot logs in to Discord, we can make it print to the screen that it logged in. So to do that, we can just say add bot event and then create another asynchronous function and name it on ready. And inside this function, we're going to print logged in as bot.user.name. Now, we're just going to use this bot variable to run our bot. So, if name is equal to main, or in other words, if we're directly running the app.py program, then we just say bot.run and then inside this we had to pass in the token of our bot. So to get the token we head over to our discord portal and go to the bot section. And then we can just copy this token and this token should be private to you. So don't share this to anyone on the internet because if they get access to this token that means they get access to your bot and they can do a lot of crazy things with it. So we can go back here and paste in our token. 
Now we can run our program and see our board come alive. So Python 3 app.py and then we open Discord and now if we just type exclamation mark hi we get hello from the dogbot and in our terminal it says logged in as dogbot. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video we're going to build a self-driving car. No, I'm joking. We're going to work on our Discord bot commands and some other cool features of the Discord API. See ya!